What's up guys welcome back to yet another in-depth review video in today's video we'll do review of nothing os 1.5 which is based on android 13 we'll cover things like battery backup stability part bugs camera and performance part so without wasting any more time let's get started so here i have my nothing phone one which is currently running on nothing os 1.5 based on android 13 let me show you the software information first if you go to about section here you can see nothing os 1.5 android version is android 13 and it came out with 5th december 2022 security patch if you guys wish to install you can find the first impression video given in the description below in which i have mentioned the installation guide too and guys before moving ahead let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video we still have 82 percent of users who haven't subscribe to our channel but they do watch our videos so if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video now first let's talk about some of the good changes what nothing have done so one of the major change which i liked on android 13 and that's related to screen recording though i did not like the implementation what nothing have done here so if i show you that now with android 13 nothing have added this google gaming mode which is quite good but there are few drawbacks one thing which i liked about this gaming mode and that's you can record your gameplay in high resolution which wasn't possible with android 12. so here you can see i have few recordings here two of them are of gameplay and if i show you the resolution here tapping on details you can see resolution is 2400 into 1080 on android 12 gaming recording was restricted only up to 720p but as i told you it do have drawbacks for example if you record the gameplays using the gaming mode it records in high resolution but if you do screen recording it again records in 576 into 1280 pixels but it's okay people nowadays uses screen recording to record the games and that do supports high resolution and when we compare the fluidity on nothing os 1.5 it's too good guys on android 12 we used to feel choppy animations sometimes but that's not the case with nothing os 1.5 based on android 13 until now i haven't found any kind of app crashes or touch delays and another thing guys ram management is improved a lot on nothing os compared to android 12 overall i like the update but still there are some minor issues and now let's talk about that and one issue which i have been facing and that's layer 2 glyph lighting so i don't know twice or thrice this happened with me if i'm using the glyph lighting this feature automatically turns off i don't exactly remember when it gets turned off and even i'm not sure whether it's in restriction set if battery goes below certain percentage so if you guys are aware do let me know in the comment section below but i've seen glyph lighting turning off in my usage after that next issue is layer to the netflix application so if you talk about the netflix application you cannot update or install this application from the play store so if you go here and if i search for netflix it says this app won't work with your device so we need to manually sideload this application and one thing which i seriously don't like if you guys remember in past carl Pai said that they don't want to add any extra bloatware and that's the reason they are not adding netflix application if they add the netflix application will get the support of hdr but as you all know hdr support is not there with the application like netflix if you see the playback specification it says hdr none but i don't know why nothing have added this weather application which is again a bloatware personally for me if i want to check out the weather i can check it out on google or i can use the at glance feature of google and i also tweeted about the same thing but there wasn't any response from officials and another issue which i have faced during my usage and that's related to notification i've seen notifications from whatsapp do overlap sometimes it was a temporary bug got fixed after restarting the device that's the reason i was not able to take a screenshot of it another minor issue which i noticed and that's related to the auto rotation i think auto rotation needs little bit more optimization because with just little bit of tilt the device screen turns from portrait to landscape or vice versa auto rotation on other phones like oneplus doesn't behave same way so i think little bit of optimizations are required here and another thing which is again related to the gaming mode so here i think nothing should have added the option to manually add the games it was available on android 12 but now nothing have removed it and it's a headache if we are playing games like battlegrounds mobile india i know it's an issue with game but at least nothing should have given an option to manually add the game because this game doesn't get automatically added other than this game all other games do get added in the gaming mode so these were some of the minor issues now let's move on to the battery segment and let me show you the screen on time which i have been getting i'll be showing you all the screen on times from the day one i started using nothing os 1.5 
so here is the first screen on time wherein i got 6 hours and 54 minutes and everything is with my normal usage guys my pattern doesn't change a lot usually this is my pattern all the time on day two i got 5 hours and 12 minutes of screen on time and screen on time do gets fluctuated because of the 5G connectivity. If I'm on Wi-Fi, I do get around 7 hours of SOT. Third day, again, I got 5 hours and 30 minutes of screen on time. And here you can see again, 5 hours and 40 minutes of screen on time. So on an average, I've been getting between 5 to 6 hours of screen on time with my regular usage. So no complaint, great battery backup on nothing OS 1.5. Also, if we talk about the charging speed, and I did notice charging speed is also improved a little bit on Android 13. On Android 12, the device used to take 65 minutes to fully charge but here after android 13 device is taking approximate 58 to 60 minutes to fully charge so when it comes to battery segment great job done by nothing team and also many people have a misconception that new android version updates might improve the camera quality in smartphone here i'm happy to report that's not the case with nothing os 1.5 beta i personally think consistency of camera is improved a lot more now the post processing looks matured we all know that camera processing in nothing phone is tuned to get natural rendition of the scene the details in the skin tone is so well done so even if people think the colors are flat it gives us an advantage to edit the photos to our liking one thing i would say in low light shots there is significant amount of noise so better to switch night mode every time in indoor and low light situation to get the desired results when it comes to portrait shots here this shot is taken in restaurant where too much is going on in the scene so in this situation the processing may struggle to focus and clearly cuts the edges precisely. Otherwise, in broad daylight situation, it's doing pretty good with edges. I did not test the ultra wide because it did not change anything. Anyways, majority people shoot in ultra wide in very rare situation. The consistency is improved in selfies. Now there's a certain look to it. The shots do come good enough from front camera but we always feel wanting more for it. Now talking about the gaming part, so here I did test out two games. One is Apex Legend and the second one is Battlegrounds Mobile India. And I played both these games in the highest graphic settings available with 60 FPS. While playing Apex Legend, I did notice a bit of issues rendering graphics while landing, but overall gameplay was pretty smooth and I was constantly getting 50 and above FPS. Battlegrounds Mobile India, I wasn't able to monitor the FPS as I told you guys, this game doesn't get automatically added in the gaming mode and there is no option to add it manually. But I played the game with again 60 FPS, max graphic settings. After playing few TDMs, I did notice little bit of heating issues which were not seen on Android 12. Slight more heating was seen after the update of Android 13 while gaming. And here right now in Bangalore, the temperature is too good. Ambient temperature is always around 21-22. Still, I did notice little bit of extra heating issues. Overall, gaming was perfectly fine. No lags. Or frame drops to be seen and now at last let's answer some of the questions which were asked by our audience and one of the question is can we remove this google bar on nothing os 1.5 so yes guys we do have an option going to home settings here you can see we have an option called display search bar in the dock so you can turn it off and the google bar will be google search bar will be removed and the next question was layer 2 can we install third party launchers so yes guys we can install third party launchers i've already tested nova launcher on nothing os 1.5 and it works perfectly fine along with that you can also now use the custom icon packs by going to icon section in launcher setting tapping on add button this will redirect you to the play store there is still no support of dual app or features like app lock etc hope nothing adds them in the upcoming updates another user asked us whether we can enable hotspot and wi-fi at the same time yes guys i have tested out this thing we can enable hotspot and wi-fi at the same time and the last question is layer to the dark mode so users have been asking us about the dark mode present on nothing os so it's not pitch dark as you have seen on other smartphones but we do have the grayish background instead of that pitch dark theme so guys, this was the in-depth review of Nothing OS 1.5 for Nothing Phone 1. And with my usage, I can say it's really a great update, very minimal bugs, and that doesn't even affect your daily usage pattern. If you guys wish to install, you can find the video guide in the description below. Or else if you have any kind of questions, then do let me know in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys are gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.